Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and I am super excited about this video as what I have in my hands here is the commuter jacket by Levi's in collaboration with Google and their project Jacquard. Now if you're unaware of what Jacquard actually is, it's something that Google announced around two, maybe three years ago and it allows you to have smart functionality within everyday clothing items. Now it doesn't come cheap, this jacket at the moment is $350 and the standard Levi's jacket with the exact same design is around $150 so you're definitely paying a premium to get these smart features included. On the back of the box it does give you some information in regards to what to do with the jacket itself and it does also mention that you can only wash it around 10 times due to these special fabrics within the sleeve which we'll get onto in just a moment. Now you are also going to require a smartphone be that Android or iOS and I'll have all the links in the description down below to see if your phone is compatible. Now inside the box itself the first thing that you're going to get is the actual jacket itself and we're going to have a look at the design and just in general the style of the jacket in just a moment. Now also in inside the box you are going to get the jacquard snap tag which is basically the brains behind the whole smart functionality of the actual jacket itself. So as you can see here it's basically just like a USB stick for example. On one end you've got the USB which you can actually just plug into a laptop or just a standard USB brick to actually charge it and then the other side you've got the connector which actually just attaches to the jacket sleeve much like it would a standard popper or button on a sleeve itself. You're also going to get some warranty information which I would definitely take note of as it is quite an expensive expensive jacket so you don't want anything to go wrong and if it does you've got the warranty in place. You've also got a quick start guide for both the Play Store and the App Store to download the applications and a two step process to getting everything up and running. Taking a closer look now at the snap tag and it's very simple it comes Levi's branding on the badge here as you can see which matches all of the other poppers on the jacket whether that's down the front of the jacket the pockets or on either sleeve and then you've got the main connector here as well which makes everything work. Now it is completely flexible so when it is actually in the sleeve it's not really going to cause you too much trouble however it can be a little bit stiff from time to time so you're definitely going to want to wear this jacket quite a lot to get this to conform properly to the sleeve itself you are for a little bit of time going to have have a very straight edge on your sleeve which can look a bit odd. So the actual jacket itself is actually modelled off of the Levi's Commuter Tracker jacket so if you guys want to get some sort of reference in terms of size of the jacket and fit and finish you can go into a Levi's store and try this out for yourself. Now for me I stand at around 6 foot 3 to 6 foot 4 and I've got the large size and as you can see here it actually fits extremely well. Now again it is made by Levi's so you're going to expect high quality but the actual jacket itself is one of the best items of clothing that I've personally tried on fits really nice, really nice fit and finish and just in general it looks quite good and you can't really tell that it's got any smart functionality built in. Now I'm no fashion blogger but on the Levi's website it says that this jacket is designed with four way stretch and articulated shoulders for increased mobility and you've also got some reflective tags just below the collar on the top and also down at each of the side of the jackets so in terms of safety at night time this is going to be quite good for that and you've also got some threads woven into the sleeve that create an interactive surface that responds to your gestures which is kind of the whole point of the jacket itself and just at the top below the collar there is a closer look at one of those reflective tags that I've mentioned so if you are out and about at night time or on a bike for example this is definitely going to come in really handy now as I mentioned this jacket is made by Levi's so the quality is super nice now in terms of how it's going to wear over time it is a denim jacket so you're not really meant to wash it and everything and just in general it's going to have that worn in kind of look over time but this for me is a really nice item of clothing and the fact that it's got Jacquard built straight in is really nice to have as well with that collaboration direct with Google. So overall you've got a bunch of different pockets to keep everything in that you need to whether that's your wallet, phone, battery pack, you've got everything sorted. Now on the left hand side is basically where all the magic happens and you can see here those special woven fabrics just here on the side and that's what's going to let you interact with the jacket itself and then the snap tag is going to connect just here to get everything up and running. So the jacket at the moment is really only compatible in the US, it is available for both iOS and Android however in the UK here I had to sideload the APK version onto my Android. Android device so no luck here for the iPhone which at the moment is actually my primary device which I'm going to cover in a separate video. So once I've siloed the application and installed it you've got everything that you need and it's got a very simple step by step process to get everything up and running. So it's also going to give you a list of the abilities that the jacket can do so whether that's music control like play, pause, forward or backwards tracks for example and you've also got the option to have it tell you the time, help out with navigation and directions so yeah there's quite a lot of things that the actual jacket can do. 
You then need to plug in the snap tag into a USB. So for me, I'm just going to be using my Mac as you can see here. And then you want to head back to your mobile device to get the rest of the setup process complete. And then after agreeing to some terms and conditions, it then asks you to put on your jacket. And once you've done that, this is where the smart functionality begins to get everything all set up. So you then need to get the tag portion of the jacket and actually then put it into the slot on the sleeve and then connect it to the button on the left hand sleeve. Now it doesn't actually plug in like a USB does, there's not really any connector once you put it into the slot on the jacket itself. The main connection is here on the sleeve, once you've connected that you can see that you've got a light and it's then located and paired with the actual application and the jacket, everything synced together. Now once everything is then connected, it's going to say that everything is synced and you can then interact with your jacket. Now the best way that I can describe this portion is kind of like playing a guitar. So the best way to think of it is the threads on the sleeve are going to be like strings on a guitar. And as I move it just out of shot here, you can see that it's actually picking up on that within the application itself. So bringing the sleeve into focus here, as you can see, as I run my finger across the actual thread itself, you can see that it's interacting basically instantly one-to-one -one within the Project Jacquard application itself. So in regards to tapping for going forwards or backwards on music or pausing music, it's actually extremely responsive, which is something that I wasn't necessarily expecting. Expecting. Now don't get me wrong, I know that this is in partnership with Google, but to be able to interact with a mobile device using Fabric is something that I've never seen before. But what can you actually do with the jacket itself? Well there's basically five different interactions, four of which you're actually going to be able to control yourself. Now the first one that you have is brushing inward, so that's going up the arm, and that's going to allow you to, for instance, in my case, go backwards in terms of a music track. You've then got a double tap of the wrist, for that I'm going to be using play and pause for my music, and then you've got a swipe forwards, which is down towards your hand, and again you can just select anything that you need to in terms of what functionality exactly it is that you want. You can then also cover the wrist completely, which is going to mute or silence any incoming notifications, and you've got the options to actually adjust the lighting and the vibration feedback from the actual sleeve itself and the project jacquard application is really well laid out and it's got a really nice feedback in terms of seeing exactly what you're doing as you can see here you've got little video tutorials to let you know what you're doing is correct and it's just a really simple application to use so anyone can really use this whether it's someone of my age for example or someone a bit older that wants to get this jacket because they're a fan of levi's for example anyone can really use this and it's really simple to set up so just for an example, you can see me here using Spotify with the actual jacket. So again, I'm skipping between music tracks, a double tap is going to pause the music, and it's already intuitive, quick, and it's instantly fed back to my mobile device. So you're not going to have to wait around with skipping tracks and things, it's going to do it all pretty much as and when you want it to. Now, a lot of people are going to say that you've got music controls on your headphones, but for me, this is just a really simple way to do things, and you don't really have to worry about fiddling around with any buttons, although I would like some more functionality with music in terms of maybe increasing or decreasing the music. You can also have it tell you the time. It is 5.58 p.m. Which again is really handy in a pinch. Now I may do a follow-up video in around a month or two's time once I've got a better grip in terms of notifications as I wasn't really able to test this as thoroughly as I would like to so at the moment I'd kind of leave that for the meantime but as I mentioned you do get a light notification and a slight haptic feedback in terms of when you get an email, a telephone call, a text message and you can also pick specific contacts for special reasons. Now the jacket itself is called the commuter, so it's really only for going to and from places as you're probably going to take the jacket off once you get to your destination. Now I would recommend actually unplugging the sleeve itself so that you're not going to have any notifications accidentally go to your jacket instead of to your phone, which I can kind of understand that that sounds a little bit strange, but you don't want any notifications being missed because they're going to a item of clothing. Now the question on everyone's mind is, is this jacket actually worth it? Now as I mentioned at the start of the video, it's going to cost you around $350, which is around a $200 price hike on the standard Levi's jacket. Now you could then spend that $200 on a fitness band or a smartwatch for example, to get maybe a little bit more functionality than what you would do with this sleeve and with the commuter jacket itself with Levi's and Jacquard on board. Now is that necessarily a bad thing? Well, no, not really. For me, this is a really awesome way to interact with your mobile device and again, it's something that I've never really seen before. Interacting with fabric on a sleeve to then get feedback on my mobile device is awesome and it's something that I didn't really think that I'd see for quite some time. Now you definitely do pay a premium for that, 
But again, once more people start doing this, when it's in more items of clothing, hopefully we're going to see those prices drop down. In which case, in my opinion, it's a little bit more of a viable investment once the price drops ever so slightly. Now on this video more than normal I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. Is interactive technology on items of clothing something that you actually want and is this jacket something that you think you'd purchase in the future at its current price tag or would you expect it to be a little bit lower in terms of cost? If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to get some more content from Copper vs Glass in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more content on a lot more regular basis very soon. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.